Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to our Dark Techno Horizons Season 1. You notice I have been busy crafting up a couple things here. I got the advanced vending machine so we can do the multi block. And I also crafted up a disassembler. I've been meaning to craft one of these up for a while. So instead of throwing old machines, like a bunch of the stuff we just broke down in a arc furnace. Um, we can disassemble it and we actually get the parts back. Now we just double check. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Uh, and it does funny stuff with... I think it has to be... If you want to like disassemble a bending machine, it has to be an IV disassembler. I think that's how it works. Uh, so like medium voltage we can put in there. It works and it gives you all the... Uh, the parts back. So if you look at the assembler recipe, oh hello. I guess that doesn't work. I was trying to do show the things for it. Uh but yeah, you should uh like we should get these things back if I'm worked in this. Now I'm pretty sure we don't need that anymore. So yeah, there we go. There is that stuff. Now I could I did clear up my channels a bit, but I actually don't remember. Also, I keep meaning to craft up elevators, and I keep forgetting. Um, I should do that right after this. Yeah, I did. I opened up a whole bunch of channels over here. We have, we only have 15. Ew, I can just throw that down. I was just like, is this worth it throwing a thing on there? Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, I don't particularly want 16 wire. I would probably do that. Put them in the A system as opposed to keeping the big stack. So, oh, I just realized that also gave us that. Oh, well, we'll just throw it in. The <laughs> we'll just throw it all in the A system. It will probably get used at some point, but like small coils and stuff getting back is really cool. I like that copper wires and all that stuff. Um, not that we are crafting up stuff. The cool part is getting like pistons and pumps and all that stuff back because we have a whole bunch of all our old stuff. Again, we're not really crafting up LV and MV stuff, but hey, if we can get all the... Uh, the parts back, I might as well just do this. And plus it. I'm just curious. Yeah, and we get circuits back and all sorts of stuff. So I think it is definitely. I think it's definitely worth it. And plus this is rather fast. So yeah, I'm going to just throw all this stuff in here. Advanced steam turbines, never going to need that ever again. Old cutting machines. So that is that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and right now, turn that off. Uh, let me get some elevators. I just need to make a recipe for this because now we have small gears on AutoCraft. We have plates, we have ender pearl craft, or ender pearl plates in the cutting machine frames. Let me do that because I'm tired of running around trying to find a good place to go down. And there we go. I uh, I have cables there so I can't get on down in there. Um. Yeah, um, and then, you know what, also while I am away, I'm going to start getting this stuff. A lot of this stuff is easy to craft up. Uh, and EV energy hatch, I need EV machine casings. All right, well, there we go. That was easy enough. IV tier. Um, no, nano. Two nano circuits. There we go. Done. Easy. Four titanium blades. Man, I love being at this point in the pack. It's just so much easier. Um, the nanos does take a bit of time. I should maybe think about keeping like 64 of these in stock. I don't know though. That's passive crafting. We know what we do. I don't like passive crafting. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I may keep those in stock, but... Uh, I don't think I would keep the others in stock because we are eventually going to replace these with other. I don't know. I'll think about it. 
No, I'll probably just keep nanoprocessors in stock and then... Then these will be quicker anyway. But I did... Since we have upgraded these to multi-blocks, it's going much, much quicker. The slowest part is... The circuit assembly machine. Since there is no... Well, at this point there is no... Upgrade for that. The multi-block is here and it is LUV. So we're kind of... Well, to be honest, we're not that far away from the assembly line, but yeah, <laughs> we're still pretty far away, especially this. Ooh, hello. Okay, we are back, and that is actually really easy to craft up. Uh, titanium we already had, Tumbaga we already had. I did have to make a recipe for the long, but frame boxes we already had because we used it in another one. Um, Tantaloy I did need to get a recipe for, but... It's just 23 tantalum and 2 tungsten, so that was uh, really easy to craft up. I only needed to do one craft for that. So, um, I've also... This multi-block uh, says 10 machine casings minimum. Well, this is 10 machine casings, so if I wanted to, I could add more input buses. But, um, I did three for now. We're going to do a circuit of one, two, and three, I think, probably. We might need a four. We might need a nine for dents. Um, but really, for now, I'm just going to use the one. And as we need it, I will expand it. But if you really wanted to, you could turn these all into input buses. And I think that would... Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoops. I don't know how to count. I need one more. I should have everything for it, I think. I hope we don't have to craft up more Tantalai. I'm pretty sure I had, like, yeah. It's really easy. Um, just the, the Tumbaga rods take a second. That's just being smelted up in a regular furnace. The rods are in there. That is in my forge hammer because I have not upgraded my forge. Is there a? I don't remember. Is there a? There isn't like a. There isn't like an updated forge hammer, is there? I I don't think I don't remember that being a thing. What is this? Universal chemical fuel engine? What the heck is that? That sounds terrifying. We'll just ignore that. All right. Yeah. So that. As we can see, this, this multi-block is very easy. Some of them are a bit more complicated. I think that one was probably the most complicated so far. But uh, this one was really easy. And there we go. Formed. Click. And there we go. Alright. So, probably just going to... Maybe right there. I'm just gonna... I could put a interface on the output if I wanted. Maybe I will do that later, but as of right now, it's kind of like a waste of... A bit of a waste of time, a uh, waste of resources to do an interface when I can just do an item pipe into a full one from the output. So we'll do that and then I just need to hook it up underneath do I have the steel cables oh also elevators finally got some you can see one over there one over there I'll add more as needed again really easy we had actually we had everything every piece of the elevator was already auto crafting I just had to make a recipe for it, so I should have done it earlier. So I don't need to break holes in the, <laughs> the floor anymore. It's going to take me some time getting used to that. So, alright. I think we're good, though. Enabled. On the output bus. Ooh. Minor issue. I need a circuit in there. 
circuit of one because we're gonna flip all our yeah these are all the circuits we got from melting down all those or disassembling all those things screwdriver have a screwdriver in there maybe not I know I can do that uh, handheld thing that makes it much easier to do these circuits, but honestly, since these have this in there, I rarely ever have to physically do this. All right, so I'm actually going to, don't really want this to be one, but just the way I've set this up, I'd rather like one, two, four, three, or whatever, you know, like in order. But, uh, yeah, that's the one thing about having the full blocks. Like, if I do that, I can actually click behind it, whereas this, I can't. So it is a bit of a pain. Like, I can't get the, the circuit in there. I had to break that, as we saw. Just a minor little thing. So that is that. Now we do have all the recipes on this multi-block, but all these can be done in the press. Oh, that reminds me. Does this need to be... Do I have to... I don't think I have to do like... Do I have to do like a screwdriver on this to switch modes? Look at me remembering how to do stuff from three years ago yeah so i'm gonna do the plates in here because uh we are eventually we're gonna get into needing massive amounts of plates and i don't want this having to do extra work when it could be doing you know rods and stuff no point to have that there all right so we'll just throw all this stuff in there for now. Now I can also I can also throw the things in that I have over here. Because these also require a one. Throw that down there. Now this is what happens when you have full inventory? <laughs> Get out of here. Folks, is still cable. They don't need those right now. Now, like double titanium plate, that's going to have to go in one with a circuit of two. But now I have it built. I can put a different circuit in each one. Which I'm like, did I just move that over to be the one? I don't know. I might redesign this in a little bit, but... Yeah, basically I can just do all the foils. And I may even do a separate one for the foils. Because obviously we have run out of room. So I'm going to, I'll do a little bit on this as needed. But uh, we should be good now. Um, let's do, we're doing a lot of titanium plates. Oh, I'm down to 72 titanium. Holy cow. I need to go back to Mars that I didn't see that turn on did it turn on it should be did that work I heard it what turned on something weird turned on <laughs> Yeah, there's titanium. Did that not? No, that didn't look like it turned on at all. Hold on, let me. Oh.
Why did that wanna? Why is that auto uploading into the thing? Night of pipe, right? Why is there a? Wait a second. Did it put? Did it put? Did it try to like export that into the pipe? Because there's only nine. I think it actually tried to export that into the pipe. That's not what I want. Um, what's the? Can you? Now that I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, we can't. There it goes. I the overlay. I didn't see it. That I think. Yeah, I think that actually. Did that. All right. I didn't really want those in there, but it is what it is. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think it put nine in there and one down in the pipe, and then it blocked the pipe from. So it did run. Let's try this one more time with this one titanium. I mean, it went so fast. I'm assuming it it worked. It just went so quick. I didn't even. Nope. Why you no work? Did I need to hit this to enable it? Did it work? I get nervous when it turns off really quick like that. Like it didn't get enough of our... All right, it did work. All right, one more time. We're never going to see it. It's too, it's too fast. Yep, there we go. All right, so we got that. Um, I'm going to need to add some more. Uh, another interface, blah, 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 do that. Also, I did want to head and craft up the arc furnace. Easy. Super easy at this point in the pack. Because I did want to do this on here. I have... No, I have not automated glass have i in this pack i haven't no i just usually do a few stacks at once but now i can actually just automate one piece of sand two to glass a little bit of oxygen in the arc furnace and then obviously if i want to smelt something down i can always do that i do need some oxygen in there let me do that i'll borrow this from here i will need to have that filling up automatically at some point but uh arc furnace i don't think that has a oh it does have there is it oh that looks really complicated and annoying oh god not those energy cores no those are terrible Ah, uh, those go crazy with the exponential. You need four of those, which is two, so that's eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four. I need sixty-four of these. Yep, no thanks. Probably never going to be doing that. I don't think. I am not. Yeah. Nope. Uh, I hate those recipes. What's it doing? Class. Let's just do one. There it goes. Already done. That. All right. Cool. New multi block, couple new machines, elevators. Happy with that so far. Okay, so I kind of rearranged the. Uh, I cleaned them up a little bit. I like this better, to be honest. Uh, just the, uh, the interface on the output bus goes directly in there. And then. I can easily see the circuits and the thing. Um, I could have moved this to like here and done like the ones on the outside so I could see it, but yeah, I wanted to do that. So I've done the foils and the spring in there. We got the plates in there and then the doubles if we need those. I'm pretty sure we will need those for 
I remember needing doubles, triples, and quadruples, and I think I had a nine as well. I remember having lots of those. All right, so what do we want to do next? Uh, I think, well, one thing I was looking at is I really do want ender tanks because I can plop an ender tank down on Mars. We get unlimited salt water. That's chlorine. Super easy to get. Um, I can fill up. I mean, we have a decent amount. I can see it from over here, actually. We have like half a half a tank over it over the I think um but I really do want to get ender tanks I want to get ender chests as well for my miners um so I don't have to like keep going and checking and seeing if the thing is done and I don't have to keep filling up all these things all these chests I can finally just bring it all back to earth with the ender chest but anyway uh one of the th things we're going to need is actually uh Radon. Now, Radon is quite difficult to get at this point. Um, you can either do it like this way with the sifting and the manual and put it in here and then centrifuge it. Totally viable, <clears throat> but it's a pain. You can also do it with and, no, it's plasma, Radon. There is also a this recipe, a plutonium in a tiny pile. You get the a plutonium back. You kind of just smelt that and then feed it back in kind of thing and you do this over and over you get 100 each per tiny pile um which i have a decent amount of that the problem is getting the plutonium in the first place now i could sit here and centrifuge uh i could centrifuge stuff for it's, I think it's uranium. We can centrifuge uranium-238, but it is a tiny percent. It's only 2%. Um, although I did see it on the multi-block. That doesn't have a percent. That has a percent, but that doesn't actually have a percent. So I wonder, is that 100% on that multi-block? Um, I don't know. That could be a bit... Cheesy. Uh, what am I doing? I'm typing multi-block. I'm talking centrifuge is what I was trying to do. I don't know. Yeah, there's a couple, couple new alloys. It is IV. We probably could craft it up, but I think I'm actually going to. I want to start pushing towards the new rocket, and we're actually going to need. Uh, this polybenzene or something. So I think I'm going to finally start doing that because um, it is used in a thing. So I think that is what we're... I'm going to start doing this. Now, this is quite a complicated plastic, and we're going to get this fully automated at some point. But basically, I think you just kind of jump in and uh, start going. Just follow the... You know follow the quest line it does lead you down it pretty well occasionally it does yeah, see that's a bit of an issue with these tanks which is probably why to be honest i'm going to get rid of them i think or turn them into uh just kind of turn them into aesthetics like not actually <laughs> use that glory and just have it full to make it look pretty i don't know i haven't decided but it is a little bit difficult to get lots of things out of it at once all right so we need our chlorobenzene now i'm gonna probably just let's see i have a yeah we'll use it on this i think i think we're no that's right because i no, i did that for I'd completely forgotten I had set this up. I have one over here, don't I? All right, this is Satane Diesel. I need a... Mm, that's got stuff in it as well. These are all set up to craft stuff. That is a bit annoying. Even these chemical reactors. I really don't have any open chemical reactors at the moment. All right, I may borrow all this stuff and just uh, pull all this stuff out and then just use it for what I need it as right now and then put the stuff back. 
Uh, this is for circuit stuff. All right. So the chlorobenzum blending, pretty sure it's just that, that, and a one, and we get our chlorobenzene and hydrochloric acid. Now I'm going to need some circuits. Do that and oops. Yeah, I'm gonna have to throw these in here. Do this. All right. Is that anything? No. All right. So first part. Chlorobenzene. And I have purposely done the large, large hatches so I don't void stuff accidentally. Hydrochloric acid. I don't have a tank for that. I need to get all these sorted anyway. All my different things. I need to get all the, the tanks and everything sorted. Which should be soon. Alright, so now we also need dimethyl. Well, let's go this way. Nitration mixture. We actually... I have sulfur. I think I have both of those actually, don't we? Pretty sure. I love how I'm flying over here as well. I know I have sulfuric acid over here. There's nitration mixture. Oh, there's a hydrochloric acid. I do have a thing for that. Again, though, it doesn't work in there. This is a pain. Yay, I have some. <laughs> I thought I did. I don't have much because it's not running permanently, um, which we will get it running permanently at some point. Nine and nine. That's those. We'll go make our nitration mixture. Yeah. Not being able to pull those out of the fluid AE is definitely making me wish I could uh, use the the thing, but it doesn't work well with those tanks. Right, um, nitric acid, that is a mixer recipe, right? Yeah. I do have a one there, I think. No, the other way around. There we go. Alright, so there is the nitration mixture that we need. Um, okay, so we need dimethyl benzene as well. That is methane and benzene to one to one. So that is relatively easy. There is that. So there's chlorobenzene. There's our nitration mixture that we need. Now, methane and benzene. As we can see, this is why these are so important. Getting this all built up. I need 18. So 18 benzene. Uh, getting a distillation tower for all these products is just so helpful. for all these plastics. So there is our methane. That's, yeah, I wish I could just click all 18 of these all at once, but it doesn't work. And that was a, what was it? A one as well. So methane, benzene, and there we go, it is running. That is a relatively slow recipe too. For EV, that is a 200 second recipe, holy cow. But uh, there it is, alright. So, so far, nothing too crazy. Now. We also need potassium and nitrate. Nitric acid again, potassium. Gets us those. Chromium trioxide. So chromium and you add oxygen. Add oxygen again is what I'm assuming. 
Got chrome, add oxygen. Chromium dioxide, add more oxygen, you get the trioxide. Let me get those. Okay, just throwing the chromium dioxide back in there. We got our dimethyl benzene there. Chromium trioxide. Or more. Oh, I don't know why it asked me to get 24. We have 12, 12 left over. I don't know. I don't think I did something wrong, but we did that. All right, so we got all that. I got the fennel. Now we need nitrochloral benzene. So that is a one, a one, and there we go. One, the one. Now, looking at this, I'm like, how are we going to... Uh oh Why aren't we... Look at a one nitration. Did I put the I put the wrong thing in. Nitration mixture. There we go. Relatively slow. Uh, relatively fast. There is the nitro chlorobenzene. So that is that. Now the next one is potassium dichromate. <laughs> Again, all these crazy. We got saltpeter, chromium trioxide. I think it's two to one, or I do these two. Hmm. Saltpeter or potassium? I mean, this that feels easier. Oh well, we're just doing how the the thing is kind of telling us how to do it. So we'll just throw that in that. Sometimes it does take a second. Also, I I changed those because I couldn't get to the in, input bus, so decided that. I don't remember that being such a bad ratio the first time we did it. All right, so we're there. Now we need dichlorobenzidine. So this nitro something, and then tiny piles of copper. which we need 18. That's small. There's tiny. All right, so 18, 18. EV chemical reactor. Thankfully, this is EV. So nitrochlorobenzene. And this. I think... That's a pretty slow recipe. I think when I fully automate this, I think I'm going to have about 10 large chemical reactors doing this. I could feed this back into the machine, but it gets so, it gets very confusing at that point. Uh, now, talic acid, we got our potassium, this one. Uh, there is more oxygen. Yeah, I don't know why the other one had oxygen. All right, let me get this talic acid. That, that, that. Then sulfuric phenol. And that. I have the phenol I got. We're getting that right now. Yeah, let me get the rest of this stuff and then we'll finish this up. All right, I have gone ahead and got the next parts of the thing, uh, the talic acid and then the diphenyl isotalate. Um, these are all just in the chemical reactor. And also this dimabenzidine, which is that, the ammonia, zinc. I have ammonia made, I have sulfuric acid made, I have fennel uh, over here from my distillation tower. So this was actually, this really wasn't that bad, actually, uh, to be honest. Since I already had everything 
made. Now, this is a bit awkward the way these cells work. They're not a thousand. It's uh they do one thing. You do get some fennel back. We don't get all of it back, but uh I th it's about half I think you get. So the quest wants us to do plates. So there we go. There is our most complicated plastic. As you can see, there's quite a lot of parts, different machines, lots of chemical reactor stuff. Um, but we're going to have to... We're going to have to craft up, you know, like big dust. Then we're going to have to turn them into tiny dust so we can mix it with stuff so there's a whole lot of moving parts uh to this plastic but uh it is definitely an end game stuff and it is oh sweet we got 125 i was so worried we weren't gonna get enough <laughs> to complete the quest yes um the cool thing about this is if we ever end up doing that uh we could do it with if we want like eight circuit boards instead of the four we're getting from there we can use one to one um if we want to use the melted one we can use it in an autoclave to get a one to two ratio for that and it only uses nine liters so it's actually not that bad so there is that um we can get more circuit boards this way here and uh yeah. Oh, this opens up the advanced SMD stuff too, doesn't it? This plastic. All right. Um, but as we can see, the thermal leggings is the reason we needed this. Um, that does use quite a bit, but that is the reason I had to get this before we went to the the next planet. I do want to take a look at this really quick. Polybenzene window foil, HSS foil, tungsten steel bolt. I mean, that doesn't feel like, although you do use less, you only use one as opposed to four. I don't know. I'll think about that. I don't think we're quite there yet with using that, but uh, yeah, that is pretty cool, but we will fully get that automated. I'm not going to show it, me fully automating it, but I will definitely show the final result. I think it's going to be huge. It's going to be a huge build. But uh, anyway, that's going to be for today, so thanks for watching, and have a good one.